with over 3.5 billion cell phone subscribers on the face of the earth, that translates into billions upon billions of dollars in revenue. But there are some hidden charges as well. With tens of thousands of antennas built up to support the growing number of users, this is the price we're all forced to pay. If somebody lives near a cell tower, there is a constant radio frequency signal that's coming out of that. It will boost higher when somebody is calling for that system to function. People don't understand very often that radio frequency radiation is a form of energetic air pollution. They think that it just harmlessly goes through living systems and leaves all living molecules unaffected and unimpaired. That's not necessarily the case. People are making presumptions of safety uh, that really shouldn't be made. There are standards for non-ionizing radiation protection. They are set on the basis of the assumption that there's no adverse health effect to humans unless the radiation is sufficient to cause tissue heating. The assumptions behind the standards that exist are simply wrong. You should know that who wrote the standards, which is the Motorola's, the Nokia's of the world, the military who have their own uh, interest in all this. They, they have no interest in lowering the standard. They want to keep it as high as they can. As we get more information, we find that our standards are too lax. In many cases, we find that the technical people can find ways of utilizing the technology with less exposure if they have a motivation to do so. But with money, not health, being the prime motivator, antennas continue to go up.